All right, in this tutorial, I will be showing how to install custom songs on Amplitude and how to install the game on the RPCS3 emulator. Um, it's pretty simple. All the stuff that I'm using will be linked in the description, including the songs. So first off, we're gonna wanna open up the emulator. I'm using the latest version. Um, on if you were to open the emulator, you might get a pop-up saying to look at the quick start guide. Um, I recommend looking at that, just peeking out a bit. However, I'm going to be covering the basics of that guide, I guess. So first thing you're going to need is the firmware for the PS3. You can download this off of Sony's website. It's very simple. Uh, I will link it in the description. So in order to install the firmware, all you really have to do is just drag and drop in here and it'll ask you if you want to install the firmware. I already have the firmware installed, so I don't really need to install it again. So I'm going to click no. Now next, you're going to need the Amplitude package. This is the game package, the base game. If I drag it and drop in there, it'll ask me if I'll install it. Click yes, and it'll install it. This other package right here is for, it will update the game and give you access to the exclusive Kickstarter stuff like the blaster and the um, the exclusive song. So you're gonna wanna drag and drop in there and click yes and it will install that. And the last thing you need is this wrap file. This wrap file will allow you to open the game and launch it. You're gonna need this, this is important. Without this, you can't play the game. So you follow the same thing, drag and drop and it'll successfully tell you that it copied it right there in the little uh, command line thing. So once that's done, um, if you want to test it out, you can go ahead and open the game. So once that's done loading, you'll see the game will launch. Uh, game runs at 30 FPS, 720p. But if you go ahead and double check, um, you're going to have to be playing through a tutorial, of course, because you don't have any save data. But once you get into the main menu, you should see that you have the Kickstarter symbol, plus uh, you'll have Do Not Retreat unlocked. And here it is. Now, uh, as you notice, the audio cut off, and that's an issue that can be fixed, but I will show you later on in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's go and right click on Amplitude and go into Open Install Folder. Now you're going to want to go into the User Directory folder. Here you'll find the game files basically. Uh, we're going to want to copy the HDR and ARC files into a separate folder. This will be this will be basically like our backup folder just in case something goes wrong here. We can we have backup files here and uh, we can just paste over. Now next thing you want to do is open up the modulate zip file and copy everything into the game files folder. Modulate was created by someone from the Amplitude community who goes by Nordiest. Thanks to him for figuring out all this all all the stuff needed so that we can unpack and add songs and repack the game. So you want to run the unpack.bat which will um, unpack the game files into a folder called output. And once it's done, it will close itself. So once we got that finished, uh, we go into the output folder, go into PS3. We can see that there's a song fold or like a songs folder. Now this is where we're going to be putting our songs. So download all the songs that you want. I recommend this tutorial be using all the songs from the PS2 game including the POD exclusive demo. So we're going to want to copy the songs and paste them into the song folder. And once we got that done, we can go ahead and go back to our game files folder. And before running this, we have to edit it first. This is very important. If you just run it now, it will not work. So we're going to want to go to go on, right click it, edit with a text editor of your choice. And here we can see that it says put user directory here. This was the folder that we got the game files from. So go back here into user directory, 
remember you can just right click open install folder and then go straight to the user directory from there so what we want to do is we want to copy this directory very simple you can just click into the open space right click copy and then right here in between the quotation points right click paste and there we go make sure that it is in the quotation marks or else if there's a space in your folder names it will not work it has to be in between these exclamation marks or quotation marks i mean sorry so once we have that we click save and then go back to our game files folder and we run the repack.bat it'll open immediately it'll start adding the songs to the game and then it'll start overriding your uh, ps3 files as you can see they're getting overwritten If you get any errors at this step, double check to make sure that your um, your path is correct. Once that's done, we can go ahead and close it. And the next time we launch the game, we'll have the custom songs. Now while it's launching, if you don't, if you're not going to download every song, then you can go ahead and edit the repack and remove any song. So let's say you don't want push, this the song is push right here. You can go ahead and delete that line. If you don't want uh, rocket, you can go ahead and delete this line. If you don't want uh, the Baldwin Brothers song, you can go ahead and delete that line. However, if you're going to be downloading all the songs, then you can just leave this as is. Now here we go, here's the game. If we go into quick play, we'll notice that we have all the songs from the PS2 game. Now these songs will not be available to play immediately. You do have to unlock them, which means you do have to play the game and unlock them one by one now let's see um i just want to show you if it's soft locks yes there we go so this soft lock right here um i don't think this happens to everyone however if it does happen to you i will show you how to fix this problem and I will also show you how to increase the resolution and frame rate so that it's a lot more playable. We go ahead and close it. The game's frozen. It's soft locked. It's not going to do anything. So what we want to do is create a custom configuration for um, amplitude. Now, before we start creating the custom configuration, you're going to want to double check whether or not um, you have this option enabled. So you're going to want to go back to the emulator folder. GUI configs, we're going to want to go to current settings.any, right click, edit with text editor of your choice, scroll down until you see show debug tab. Now you're going to want to make sure that this show debug tag is set to true. Now this is only if your game soft locks and freezes like that. It could also soft lock in the main menu, it can also just straight up crash when selecting a song, but if any of this happens, then make sure you enable this debug tab. So once you have that debug tab enabled, you're going to want to go back to RPCS3, right click on it and create a custom configuration. Here you will see that there is a tab called debug. This is only if your game freezes when selecting songs or when playing a song as shown before. So you're going to want to enable this option here called accurate SPU DMA. Now once you have that enabled, you can go ahead and start configuring the game like how I have it configured. So for me, I have SPU loop detection disabled. Under GPU, I play at 1080p resolution. You can play at any other resolution that you want. I just play at 1080p because my system can handle it. You're gonna also wanna go to advanced and where it says V blank frequency, this controls the frame rate. So doubling this will uh, make the game run at 60 FPS. I also limit the maximum number of spur threads to two 
and that's basically it if you want to enable the performance overlay it's in the emulation tab right here you want to save that and once you have it saved uh, the game will boot with the custom configuration at all times unless you tell it to boot with global so once we boot it up You'll notice that the game is running at a higher frame rate and at a higher resolution already. And you'll also notice that we've gotten rid of the soft locking. So now let's go try to play Synthesize again and you'll notice that it runs just fine and you can actually play it. basically it for the tutorial. This tutorial also works for any other custom songs that um, other people might make. All you have to do is just add a line in the uh, repack that file. So let's say, let's give an example. So let's close this. If someone were to be making their own song and they wanted to add it to the game, uh, the easiest way would just to add another line here. So under right here, this is the last add song. We're going to want to do space dash add song. Output is the folder name and the song name, let's say, will be, I don't know, uh, end of your world from frequency. And then, you know, save, repack, and it should add that custom song in there too. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy playing through the PS2 songs. Uh, hopefully I can get uh, work started on the frequency songs and uh, keep an eye out 